Well, I think the landscape approach is something that we don't have an option. We need to move into landscape approaches. Uh, this is because uh, we need to be able to look at the relationships across the different sectors that we operate in. And if we take any particular landscape, we've got parts of it that are actively being cultivated. You've got parts of it that are not in cultivation. And you've got parts which are in some kind of you know, forest landscape. And there's a lot of interaction across those elements. And what often happens is you have people working in the separate components. And so nobody cares about the effect of what they are doing on the other areas where they are not working. So this is really costly. As we talk about climate change and all the adaptation mechanisms, it is important that we take all these things together at the landscape scale. So how do we make it happen? There are a number of initiatives now, and uh, I made mention of a particular one that is led by the Landscapes for People, Food and Nature initiative. And what they're doing is they're really bringing together global thinkers on this whole issue of landscape. And there is a component of that initiative for Africa. And they're bringing together the policymakers as well as people in research, as well as people in, in, in local communities who are responsible for management of natural resources, etc., to target particular system areas and come together you know, to, to forge ways of linking these whole issues in there. Within a particular landscape, you've got to identify the different sectors within that landscape. You, you need to really look at the stakeholders within that landscape. You need to bring them together. You know, at the end of the day, if the people within the landscape are not with you, you can't really do much. Because there are going to be things that give and take and all that. And that has to be discussed in a way that you know, is open and transparent. You know, so it's very important that the community aspects, and they must know what, it, what is in it for them. They must know that this is really an attempt to create a win-win scenario for everybody who has to do you know, with the landscape. And that will mean that there are certain types of activities that will be agreed to be undertaken in particular parts of the landscape which would benefit the entire group. And there are certain things where there will be agreement that you don't need to do it. But there are going to be costs involved. And the question is, who pays for those costs? And all those things have to be discussed in an open, transparent manner. So there are already a number of initiatives that are tackling things at that level. The, the point I will make, though, is that a lot of those initiatives are operating at the level of rural development, and they, they are operating at the level of you know, NGO sector work. The research aspect is not very well linked into it because a lot of the research going on is still being done within compartmentalized domains. Even when people talk about landscape, they still go back and start working on their own base. So that is where major mindset change is needed. Um, so the initiative that I just mentioned, the, the Landscapes for People, Food and Nature Initiative, is an, an attempt to bring together the research people uh, to work with the, you know, the rural development people, the lands and forestry people, etc., uh, as well as with the community interests, to be able to forge a way forward that supports this whole uh, spectrum of work. I think my message for research is we need not to be afraid of complexity. Because, I mean, working on landscape scale is, is complex. It also means that working on landscape scale, you need to be able to you know, handle things within an integrated systems context. And the fact that it is complex doesn't mean it has to be complicated. You know, we, we will have to find mechanisms in research to tackle complexity, not just to split it up all the time, look at the complexity, but do it in a way that is not complicated, that doesn't drive people away. And I think that is a challenge that uh, I would say research would need to focus on in the context of integrated systems uh, research uh, for landscape uh, management.